for the hand and arms. Just imagine that we're taking the guest to the Dead Sea and we're taking steps by the shore. Steps. We're looking at the gentle waves on the shore, on the riverbanks. Gentle waves that have been there for thousands of years and all we can see are palm trees with their trunk and their foliage. Four of them in this sequence, but hundreds to be seen by the Dead Sea. It's time to go and experience the water for yourself. Take the arm, let it slide, let it float, protect your leg and let the arm of the guest rest. You have water gliding on the arm. You feel the ebb and the flow of the water taking you side by side. From the elbow to the shoulder and the hand, all sides are covered as you explore. Place back the towel. Take the hand and as you're floating on the Dead Sea, you want to touch the clouds. You want to touch them and you can almost feel them. And then it's time to let go. Wiggle, let go of your arm. Let go. Surrender. Let's break the bread. Let's broaden the top part of the hand and also inside in the palm. It's all about letting go having more range of movement between all the metacarpals. You go one way, you go the other. You feel your hand floating. You feel the gentle waves under. Let's go and stimulate those meridian lines working between the metacarpals. the way beyond the wrist. Hypothenar, thenar eminence, and inside the palm. All the way to the fingertips, all the way for each finger. to close this part with a gift wrap and as you get out of the water you feel the gentle breeze on your body a very warm and gentle breeze so we repeat this whole sequence of the hand and the arm on the other side and then as we worked one and then the other, we're going to work on both to give a full blissful sensation. Of course, the modesty of the guest is always covered. And you work around the wrists, going on the forearms, all the way to the elbow 
and stretch. All the way to the biceps, triceps, and stretch. Infinite stretch. All the way to the shoulders, and stretch. All the way to the shoulder blades, and stretch. Infinite glide. All the way to the torso, and that's where we stop. Gentle wiggle. And stretch. Infinite. Let go of your arms. Come back with a gentle wiggle on both sides. Cover. Glide. And cover. Total indulgence on both hands and arms. Total indulgence on the feet and the legs with the mineral foot cream. Let's uncover one leg. Neatly folded. The modesty of the guest is completely covered from the hip to the inner part of the thigh. Generous portion. You can leave it on the side because we're going to use it also for the other leg. And imagine you take the guest to the Dead Sea with no jet lag, without moving from the treatment room, taking steps by the shore. And as you gaze to the horizon, you also look at the river, the, the bank of the lake Dead Sea, and you see the gentle waves. All the way, so that from the foot to the hip, you have a straight line like the trunk of a palm tree, and at the end you see the foliage. We're going to have four of them when actually by the Dead Sea, there are hundreds. Two more. The hand and the fingers are tied together until they open, like the foliage. It's time to get into the water and feel the floating sensation. As you lift the leg, you send a signal to the guest that her modesty is completely covered. You take your towel, place it over your knee to protect your clothes, and little by little, you encourage the guest to trust you and to let go. And to feel the ebb and flow of the water. You explore all sides, internal, superior side, and lateral. As you work, alternately, you can also work together for a heavenly effleurage. All the way to the toes, and simultaneously, all the way to the hip. Of course, if the guest likes more pressure, you can work with your forearms. Simultaneously. What's great in the Dead Sea is that it's the whole body that experiences, so the leg shouldn't just feel it from the inside, but also on the lateral part. Work also with your own body. Get into the motion, get into the flow. Simultaneously. And 
why not with the four arms? For sure, when you will be in the Dead Sea, you will want to stretch. You will want to feel your body as long as possible. You will want to wiggle. Your body is completely supported. Time to take care of the foot, breaking the bread. Broadening technique on the upper part, but also on the sole. You want to increase the range of movement. So as you get to the foot, broadening technique, breaking the bread on the top part, but also on the sole, giving more range of movement between the metatarsals. And also stretching. You glide inside on the zone of the spine on the reflexology charts. You glide between the metatarsals all the way beyond the, the ankle. And also on the lateral side, reflex zone of the upper limbs, arm, shoulder, elbow. It's time to work on the sole with alternate movements. From center out. So you can see you're gliding on the sole, but also you're gliding on the esophagus, diaphragm, and the stomach on this part, the corner of the large intestine, going and visits the reflex zone of the kidney. Once again, large intestine, and then the bladder. So you can see, you feel you're just gliding on the skin, but also you're stimulating reflexology points. Time for a long sock. You go up on top and you go back underneath. Let's repeat this. All the way to the knee. Last one. And then it will be time to wrap it up. Make a nice little gift. From the side to the center, giving closure to the sequence. Time to get out of the water. I know you want to stay, but you should stay only for so long. And that's when you feel the breeze on your body, the warm breeze. Once you've done, once you've done this uh, whole sequence on this leg, you repeat it on the other side. And after working one and the other, we are going to be bringing a full sensation with both legs like we have been giving it with both arms. Towel inside. So after working on one side and working on the other side, we uncovered both legs and that's when we give the complete feeling of freedom and weightlessness that we feel in the Dead Sea. And you work your way up, step by step, always finishing under, over the knee, and coming back under, all the way to the thighs, from center out, wiggling, final as far as you can so that she feels her legs are so long. That's when you keep both legs and you have a gentle wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Floating and 
endless, timeless, unforgettable Dead Sea. That's it. So, for our next sequence, we're going to see Ahava's signature back massage. And you have a choice of the different products you're going to use. You can use the liquid Dead Sea Salt, which is fantastic and gives a full experience of what you can have at the Dead Sea. We're going to remove it with a towel, a hot towel. And then I suggest, we suggest, that you use the mineral body lotion or you can use the desert precious oil. Let's start. Lift the towel. Protect. Always keep contact with your guest. Enough to work with. And take your guest to the banks of the Dead Sea, taking a stroll. Steps by the Dead Sea. Take other steps so you can apply more where you haven't been. The first thing you see are the gentle waves by the shore. They help you make sure that you apply everywhere. What strikes everyone going to the Dead Sea is also to see the palm trees and opening. Fingers closed, opening. sun and moon for thousands of years. The sun has risen, the moon has met it. One hand creates a full circle and the other one just represents the crescent of the moon. Turn around and repeat on the other side. After working one side, then the other, unify with circles on both sides. Work your way up slowly because time slows down when you are by the Dead Sea. Ahava means love and we have a heart shape movement to illustrate it. Going straight to the seven cervical. Pétrissage. With fingers, with thumbs, and with thumbs and fingers all together. The nape. Generous. That's when you turn around again into the movement. Work with both hands. Start again, fingers. Thumbs and fingers together. Now there's a movement that's also very pleasant when you continue to work on the nape and having just 
two fingers go down on the shoreline. Once more. Time slows down. Endless, limitless. The very same heart-shaped movement goes down this time. Come back on the sides. Once more. And as we worked on the trapezius, we now work. upper gluteus, one side, and the other, so many tension points, pétrissage of the side, use your body, open your fingers, flowing movement. This is where I'm going to turn around again to have a little pétrissage of the spine and we go down. Massaging the paravertebrals never touching the spine, never touching the vertebras in themselves, just working the lateral muscles, paravertebrals, erector spinae, longissimus, and you now work on the other side. Crisscross. Laterally and in diagonals. Stretch. Stretch the sensations. Stretch the skin. Stretch the time. Other side. Let's work one paravertebral at a time, working with the thumb reinforced. My thumb is going to glide and my hand is going to add more pressure. Going, 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 going. And coming back into the trapezius. over the paravertebral. You work on this side and in just one second I'm going to go on the other side to work on the other paravertebral. That's when my hands cross and I repeat. And you work on the other side with a reinforced And after working on one side after the other, once again, we're going to unify the sensation. Working on both paravertebrals, both meridian lines of the bladder meridian, with thumbs crossing. And the thumbs go in and out, in with pressure, out, simple effleurage, your body sinks in with your weight and release once again. Last. Erase your tracks.
Repeat this movement with a variation. This time it's not just your thumbs moving, but it's also your fingertips for a full sensation. The movements stay the same. Pressure in, effleurage out. Pressure in, effleurage out. Breathing like a bird flying by that you see in the sky. And it's time to wrap it up. Wrap it up, movement from sides to center. And as you get out, you feel the warm breeze over your body. Remove the liquid dead sea salt with a hot towel. Always test if the towel is not too hot for your guest. Press so that the warmth really sinks in the body. You're already absorbing some of the liquid Dead Sea salt. And you remove it. Turn it around, use the other side that's clean, and remove also on the arms shoulders and on the other side with the other side that's clean and on the shoulder you have the choice of the body mineral lotion or the pressures desert plants these are products you will have introduced to your guest before. For this time I'm using the mineral body lotion. That gives a fresh sensation after the heat. Circular movements. Simple application. We've given the back a lot of movements but it is time to wrap it up. Final sequence. That's when you go down the arms, get the towel and bring it up for a full sensation. For our next sequence, a Hava's thigh firming sequence, we will be using the liquid Dead Sea Salt. Apply with steps by the banks. Look at the little waves, gentle waves on the shore. Look at the ripple and start working on the skin, giving it movement so that whatever 
big groups of adipocytes we may have, we reduce. It's almost like a snake movement, shape of an S. Working all over you glide. Second time. And if you have some excess on your hands, remove it so that you have just the best grasp possible. Pressure is medium. It shouldn't be too hard. It's great for cellulite of type one, type two, and it helps cellulite of type three breathe better increase the circulation. After this deep movement, we have a very light one. Percussions with the fingertips to give the impression of rain on the Dead Sea, stimulating and activating the capillaries. We have the ebb and flow. working diagonal. And also on the gluteus. Skin rolling like a boat on the Dead Sea, a boat ride. Careful inside. This movement. Keep breathing. You work a second time from this angle and then we're going to turn around the table to work the other half. Come back. Glide. Last part. Ready to turn? Here we go. Be very attentive with this movement. The skin may be sensitive. You can have a good pressure starting from the center, but you always have to release it as you get to the side. Feel the skin wanting to escape your fingers and glide back up. And we are going to give it a second go. Second time, maybe more intense this time. Listen. This is not supposed to hurt, this is supposed to liberate.
go. Stimulate, activate, pinches. Tail space, keep in contact, and you have a tube. All the way up. Second tube, and it will be time to wrap it up. Wrap it up. Remove the liquid Dead Sea Salt with a hot towel. Use the hot towel to absorb. And remember that we put also some, not just on the back part, but also middle, and a little bit on the front. Make sure you absorb as much as you can and remove. the other side. And to finish off the sequence, you can add the precious desert oil. Generous circles with your thumbs disappearing. So you can cover what you see and what you don't see. time the sequence you have seen you can apply on the other side on the front part of the thigh and you can repeat on the other leg Our next sequence is the scalp massage. We suggest that you start gently with your fingertips in a circular movement at the base of the skull, the occipitalis. And slowly you work your way up along the hairline, reaching the parietalis. The um, rhythm is moderate, the pressure is moderate. You get to the temporalis. And frontalis. Your thumbs follow the governing vessel, dumai, 
all the way to the table. And you start again, but this time only slower with bigger circles, as if time was slowing down, as if time was melting through your hands, offering a timeless moment. So you cover the scalp and you glide. You may want to be more specific, working on energy points, go bladder. You can look at the chart for the meridians and you will look them up. You can explore them with your fingers. Breathe through it, release their tension, help them be harmonized again. Also, behind the ears, go bladder meridian. ebb and flow. When you start from the center and your hands glide from one side to the other. Work in diagonals. Engage your body, not just your hands. Go. You take locks, locks of hair, and you stretch the scalp. center down. Final stretch. 